So I call this the abandoned mine train. Now where we are at the moment in this video is at Portman. Now Portman's in the southeast of Spain, the Costa Colida, the Murphia region. Now just behind Portman is the Union. It's a huge mining area. Now when the Romans were there, they actually called Portman the uh, Great Port because that's what it is. It's like a huge harbour. Uh, the ships used to come in. Now they were mainly after the, obviously the silver. Now all along the southeast coast was uh, volcanoes. So there were many, many minerals there. And I'm talking about lead, silver, zinc, obviously and gold. But no gold was actually uh, taken from, from this area. What's of great interest is what actually happened to this area uh, because it's, I think it's Europe's biggest contamination uh, what had actually happened, what had gone on. So just let me explain a little bit more. Now the reason why I'm in my basement telling you this and not actually out where I usually go out and I do my videos is because that day I went out, it was blowing a gale. You just couldn't hear me. I, I did it a few times and it just, it just blown too hard. There was a thunderstorm going off. It rained for a bit. I nearly got blown over at one stage, but I've managed to carry on the video. Just give you a bit more information. Now you're going to see the train. You're going to see some of the uh, mining trucks as well. Some of the other bits of machinery. Also, at the, right at the beginning, I tried to get to where the tunnel was. Now the tunnel went through the mountain uh, because the other side, there were loads of quarries and obviously they were trying to do it very fast by getting all the uh, trucks filled up they bring it to this laundry place just to explain about the laundry place you will see this later on in the video they called it the laundry room it was named after a french guy called robato laundry and what it virtually was it's self-explanatory they actually uh cleaned the metal they kept the good stuff the bad stuff was just chucked over the side when they filled up the, uh, the marshland that was there, they then pumped it out to the sea, and then over the years, um, it just turned colour. Unfortunately, it's, um, they've only just started to clean it up now. It's, it's looking a lot better now than it was, actually. I couldn't get a drone shot up because it was just too windy, but it's half the size it normally would be. Um, also, 1990s, Greenpeace had turned up to try and stop that pipe. Looks putting the stuff out into the sea. They managed to convince the people and the government to stop it, and they virtually just left it. You know, obviously they broke up some of the stuff, but most of, most of the machine, like the train and all the trucks, uh, and some of the buildings were just left there to rot, really. Well, which is such a shame, but also it's pretty interesting to explore. So, as I always say, guys, gotta keep watching, or you're gonna miss something. Hope you enjoy this, yeah. Well, I'll catch you on the next one. Well, that's the tunnel entrance, and if you think I'm walking through that, <laughs> no chance. But yeah, that's the that's where the tunnel is. You can just see how much it's grown. I'm just going to put a picture up now, uh, what it would look like back about I don't know, 40 years ago maybe. So these are the, uh, the trucks. These have been the trucks that have come all the way from the quarries through that tunnel back down 
towards the uh, laundry building to be separated and all the rubbish would just be dumped. Thank you.